Hello everybody, today we are at Seuss Landing. It is an Islands of Adventure, or IOA for short. We are going to ride the Dr. Seuss rides today. It is already dark outside, so I think it's gonna be really pretty to see all of the rides all lit up, and we're gonna be able to see so many things as we get on the Island trolley there. And, um, on March 2nd is Dr. Seuss's birthday. So we're going to celebrate Dr. Seuss and his birthday by riding all the rides in Dr. Seuss land here tonight. As you walk into Dr. Seuss land, they have so many beautiful lights. It's even more beautiful during Christmas time, but of course it is the last Saturday in February. So if it is dark outside, we're going to go ahead and enjoy everything that we can while we're here. Over here is the, if I can get a little bit closer, it's closed right now. This is green eggs and ham, tater tots, and who hash. So at this restaurant, you can get many different items that go along with the green eggs and ham book. Here's a take, here's a look at the menu. We have pizza tots, green eggs and ham tots, buffalo chicken tots, briskets. You have your hoo hash and the drinks you can get are right there. Here's the look at the outside of the building. My family and I have not ate at this restaurant yet, so I cannot uh, say how the food tastes here but we definitely would love to try some of the items that they have on the menu. We're excited of the Green Eggs and Ham restaurant. They do have a play area and it is super fun. The kids and I, um, and my husband, we have been here before the uh, pandemic hit and we're able to go through this fun area and do all those fun activities. It is closed now though for the pandemic, but hopefully sometime soon when everything gets better, everything will open back up. And, and, and Nadia's pooping their noses. Why does it say Harry Potter? Oh, that's the directions to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, this way. This is a little area that you walk by. It's right in front of the carousel, And there's some little pretend fish in the water here. Some really neat trees with little balls on the top. There is a fountain in the back over here. We can go over here and show you. There's a fish right here. All stacked up. Squirting water. Some water falling down here. This is a really fun, nice, little quiet area. And they have places that you can sit down here, away from the crowd, rest for a minute. Here is a little stand where you can get some ices. There's a store in here with many different items that you can buy. Oh, you found something super cute. Show me, Nadia. How much is it? I don't know. It is $16.95. Oh, thing one and thing two, yeah. they are also $16.95. They are all $16.95, Nadia. Over here is a coin machine with different cat in the hat and characters. So you have the thing one and thing two, you have the fish and cat in the hat. It costs 51 cents to do. And this is the new one that they see? have here. They have some books. Aren't these books? 
Oh, do you like that book? Yes. Has some bracelets over here with names. Some keychains. So they have the little cat in a hat for babies and bibs, the little cute toys, little onesie outfits here. They have thing one, thing two, thing three, thing four. If you have a family of four like we do, everyone could wear a shirt. Isn't that fun? Well, that's because if you have a family of four people, everybody could wear one of the different numbers. We do. We do. Here, I love this teacher of all things because I do have a teaching degree. Over here. Oh, how fun is this? Little furry notebook there. Little visors. Aw. I do love that little shirt here. It is $19.95. Not today, sis. They have some tank tops, some sweatshirts, although it is getting hot here in Florida now. That's a fun hat. All right, let's go to the other side of the store. Oh, here they have another cat in the hat. Looking at all this cat in the hat stuff makes me really want to go get on the ride now, so let's go to it. This is part of the queue for Cat in the Hat. Thing is so submersive and so cute. Walking in their front yard. There's clouds in the sky. We're going in their house. And then something went bump. How that bump made us jump. I call them thing one and thing two. They were tame. Oh, so tame. They were coming here to play. They were making some fun of this. Next up, we are going to ride one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. This is one of Nadia's favorite rides here in Seuss Land. So, she loves to make it so that I get wet. <laughs> so, here's a little tip for all the people that are going to ride this. The child has to get in first and then the adult gets in second. So, and you can listen to the little song there as you can see. They lift up. And they just go around in the circle there. And they do have water spraying out the sides. So if you don't want to get wet, you just have to either go up or down and listen to what they're saying because they will tell you when you can get wet if you choose to. It's a fun little ride to do with your family. I just saw this sign here. So if you're under 48 inches, you must be accompanied by a supervising uh, companion. I just wanted to mention this just in case you're a single parent and you have two or more kids with you then you can ride with the sh child that is shorter and then your ch child that is 48 inches can ride in a different fish on their own. Walking to our fish. We have yellow and blue. Ah. Ah. All right, Owen, where are the blue fish? Are you gonna get me wet? Yes. Yeah. Hang on tight. Here we go! <laughs> Owen's controlling whether we go up or down. Oh, that sound means they're going to squirt water. You want me to. Woohoo! Woohoo! Fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. 
We didn't get to see the front of the sign because we went through with our express bus. I know it's dark, but they have these really fun areas that you can walk through. And they actually do talk. There's the Lorax. Here's the building. Oh, listen, Nadia. Cool. It says listen. Put your ear to it. Is it saying anything? Yeah, I hear it. And protect all the forests from axes that hack. Then the Lorax and all of his friends may come back. And it's like those little telephones that you have like a plastic cup and a string and then you can just listen to see what someone else is saying from far away. It's like you're doing that with the Lorax. And we're just gonna walk through his little building here. You can see all the trees that were chopped down. All the truffle of trees. You need a sneed. Everybody needs a sneed. Remember that song from the movie? Truffle the trees, grown from the very last truffle of seeds because truffle the trees are what everyone needs. And here we are in the truffle of seed, truffle tree forest. And it's right beside. Circus McGurkis Cafe. Circus McGurkis Cafe is not open right now to the public. Because, because someone like you paid a whole awful lot. This park is alive where before it was not. So again, this cafe is not open right now, but these are some of the offerings that they have at this restaurant that you can mobile order but it is not open. So in front we have the elephant. Can't remember his name. If you remember the elephant's name, please let me know in the comments below. This is where they had the show before. So on the stage and they have the characters come out and do some songs and dances with everybody. Here is Hop on Pop Ice Cream Shop. We have not been able to eat at this restaurant seems like every time we come here it is closed but my family loves ice cream so really would love to eat some ice cream here one day so I'm just gonna really quick show you the sign of some of the things that they have at this location Ooh, Ruby float that sounds delicious I just noticed this that on the side of pop on pop ice cream shop is a giant ice cream cone super cute and then over there, we got some cherries. Maybe they're cherries, they're blue. There's a cherry over there. It's dark, so you might not be able to see it. But there's the cherry. So it's just the giant ice cream cone. I love it. Here is where they have some stroller parking. So you can park your strollers here and then go on any of the rides over here in Seuss Land. And here's another idea, it's just something I do with my kids. Um, if you have read the book by Dr. Seuss, all the places you will go, I have a book for each of my kids and I actually have their teachers sign it every year. And it's just something really memorable that all the teachers are gonna have signed and written a little note to my kids every school year. And I mean, when they're seniors together, they're gonna have that book and remember all the special things that they've had from their amazing teachers throughout the years. So that's just one idea that you can do for your own kids. Mulberry Street, that is another amazing uh, book by Dr. Seuss and Gizmos and Gadgets and Goodies Galore. So this is the store that we just walked through, but they have a little entrance just for kids. So this is so neat. I'm actually gonna go in it myself. I can be a big kid. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hello, sir. Are you gonna come in? It looks like there's slime on the walls. Hello. My next one. Can you come in? Let me out of jail. And then you just go out. All right, I do not know if your kids are anything like mine, but they absolutely love all of these things that they can sit around and pose in. Here's a police officer with a little sidecar that you can get in, and then you can ride with him in the back. They 
love these little photo ops. He's sleeping. So here's one with a police officer in Dr. Seuss land. He's sleeping. He's got his eyes closed. That's dangerous. You shouldn't drive with your eyes closed. You think you'd know that, Mr. Police Officer. There's the trolley going by. She doesn't get one. All 23 days of hers come on the run. Farewell to the So here is Goose Juice. The front entry over here by the side. Moose juice, goose juice, sweets, treats, and sweets. So this is off to the side here. We're almost near the back of the Seuss Landing. And they have lots of goodies here. They have corn dogs. They have churros. Smell good. Pizza. Icies. Cookies here. And here's a look at the menu. Here's a list of some of the prices, flavors of the ices. You can drink moose juice, which is for moose juice is frozen orange juice. Moose juice is frozen sour green apple. Little dishes beverages over here. They do have coffee and hot chocolate, apple juice, and orange juice for everybody else too. And they have to be refillable mugs as well. Here is Seuss Landing again. This is where you can exit Seuss Landing or enter it. From the next section. From, I think it's called the Lost Continent. Um, but it is right here by the water. Beautiful. So, let's go back in and finish riding all the Dr. Seuss rides. Here we are, hi guys, this trolley train ride. Let's go take it for a spin. Oh, that's cute. It says Peaches in. And then I bet it says Peaches out on the exit. Owen was just pointing out the floor. You can see the footprints of some Dr. Seuss characters on the ground. We are going to go into Candy Hookers, the sweet shop. Oh, yes, delicious. Lots of cookies and treats. Really cute cat in a hat cookies for Cat in a Hat's birthday, Dr. Seuss's birthday. They have fudge. Some cookies with the Cat in a Hat logo on it, and the Lorax, and the Grinch. Number one, number one, number two, number two. Cat in a Hat cupcakes. They even have some. Here is the sweet treat wall. So what they're doing to keep things sanitary for right now is they have a worker come by and they'll put on gloves and then they'll put that in the bag for you and then there's hand sanitizer when they're done. Here is some powdered candies. You can fill up your little tube here and then put all the different flavors in here. Add sour cherry, lemonade, peach, birthday cake. 
That sounds interesting. They have strawberry, blue bubblegum, sour lemonade, green apple, sweet banana. That here is right there. Huh. That's interesting. They have these suckers over here in the corner by the sweet treats over here. My kids love suckers. So let's see what some of these prices are. This one is $3.95 for this swirly one. This is a little bit bigger. It is also $3.95 though as well. They have these marshmallow poofy pops. It is, where's the price? I don't see a price. But we have these suckers here. Very good. Yeah, you even have thing one and thing two and Dr. Seuss. Cat in the Hat suckers here. Right beside the Trevola Street Forest is the Carousel. So let's go give it a ride. We just found out that when you push down on this handle, not only does it ring the bell, but the ears move on hers. Get a blink. Ellen, what does yours do? And then Brandon's not. I can get mine to work. I've been trying. I have a handle here. Mine doesn't move. We never knew that this happened, but that you pull on this um, harness from the character and the ears move. And Owen turns its head. Brandon's not. Mine does not move for some reason. Say hi! This is our last Dr. Seuss ride of the day. Dr. Seuss Over here by the Tonight Grand opening sign of the Circus McGurgus restaurant. On this side to my left, to my right, we have red one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. This gateway here in between both of them is closed right now. But sometimes on extremely busy days, they will open this walkway and it goes to Universal Studios. And we have been here on occasion that they do open this gate and it is only for people who have a park to park pass. So on really busy days, if you have a park to park pass, you will be able to go through these gates when they open them. It has this cute little thing that says, think and think right. Actually, think guys. Oh, that thinks you can think up if only you try. Bye bye. And that's just how you exit. Dr. Seuss. Like that. I wanted to show you guys some Dr. Seuss landing when it is the daylight outside. As you can tell, it is super crowded right now. A little area.
today. We had a wonderful time in Seuss Landing here at Islands of Adventure celebrating Dr. Seuss's birthday on March, turning on March 2nd. So let's see, uh, let me know how you guys are celebrating Dr. Seuss's birthday. And now is your family time. Bye.